there are some major differences between caged eggs and pastured eggs, and I'm gonna go over them in today's video. What's up, my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart, and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. When I started an animal-based diet, a carnivore-ish style diet about three and a half years ago, one of the things that I was avoiding was eggs because there's a lot of bad information out there making you afraid to eat eggs. But when I discovered the unreal health benefits of pastured eggs and started incorporating them into my daily routine, especially with raw egg yolks, my whole experience went to a whole nother level. The problem is, is that there's a lot of confusion out there. And in today's video, I'm gonna focus on the main differences between caged eggs compared to pastured eggs, which actually are truly the traditional egg. So the first thing is that, this might be obvious to you, but caged eggs are kept in small little cages, sometimes bigger cages, but they're kept indoors in an unnatural environment, whereas pastured eggs are chickens and chickies living in their natural state of being. They're out roaming around under the sun, foraging for different foods, out on the pasture, getting vitamin D. They're out in the open being natural animals. Second thing to consider is what the heck are they feeding those caged birds? Most of the time it's super low quality feed based around corn and soy. Corn and soy are major trigger foods for immune issues, for gut disease, gut disease, what the hell is that? Gut biome issues, digestional issues, and for those of you watching this video, you're probably in the skin health community, eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. Corn and soy, especially low quality, is really not good foods for trying to heal your skin. On the other hand, pastured eggs are out there foraging and eating food that is more natural to them. They're eating some bugs, they're eating some plants, and generally, pastured eggs, even the feed that they're given is more natural and based on what they really eat out in the open. Caged eggs have far less vitamins and nutrient density, just straight up. Basically, the pastured eggs are much higher in vitamin E. They're also much higher and have a balanced omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. The caged eggs are simply omega-6 dominant. They lack the proper amounts of omega-3. And here's another thing about pastured eggs, and this one in the egg community can be a little bit controversial or debated. And so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt because this one's more of my own experience. The yolks definitely look different. And what some people say is, hey, the color of the yolks doesn't necessarily determine how nutrient dense and how healthy the eggs are. But I actually kind of beg to differ. If you compare caged egg yolks, they're always super pale, super yellow, and just not vibrant at all. It's like this washed out, just kind of crappy yellow. Whereas pastured eggs generally have a nice dark, orange yolk. For me, even within pastured eggs, you can see a difference between some farms and other farms where the egg yolks are a little bit different. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about comparing caged eggs to pastured eggs. Pastured eggs always have darker yolks. And here's where there's something debatable. Even within pastured eggs, I always go for the yolks that are the darkest and the most orange. Reason being is it actually feels different to me when I eat raw egg yolks, which I do on a daily basis. When I eat those ultra dark orange eggs, it, and I, this might sound hippy dippy, this might sound woo woo, but it feels different. The boost of energy, the hormonal thing that it does, it just feels different to me. And that's been my honest experience. I think the takeaway from this is if you can avoid eating caged eggs, that are fed soy and fed corn as their main food and try to get pastured eggs into your diet, you're gonna be much better. Pastured eggs are higher in nutrition, higher with vitamins. They are eating a natural diet and I actually feel a huge difference. Me personally, and some people will debate this, I won't eat caged eggs. They're just not for me, but I will eat pastured eggs, especially if they're local in abundance, like I said, I do a raw egg yolk, sometimes up to five every single day. And for me with my carnivore-ish animal-based diet it has made a huge noticeable improvement. Leave your comments and questions down below, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there are links in the description box for consultation. The 
three phases workbook and also Skinessa, which is the by far the best skin health focused probiotic I've ever found. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.